Valentino Rossi, the MotoGP legend, is retiring this year, so I wanted to do a demo portrait painting of him. He's won nine world titles, he's won on the 125s, 250s and uh, seven world titles in the MotoGP. I started watching MotoGP in 1987 when there was riders like Wayne Gardner, Eddie Lawson, Randy Bermola. Kevin Schwantz quickly became my favourite rider and um, he was really used to get the bike going sideways and then and then I would say the bike was getting a bit squirrely and my best friend Dave his favorite rider was um, Wayne Rainey and Wayne Rainey won the world title in I think um, 1990, 91, 92, Kevin Schwartz won it in 93. Uh, Rainey had a really serious crash and um, had to stop racing sadly and uh, Kevin Schwantz retired not too long really after he won the world title because he'd had so many injuries. But after those two riders went, um, I, I found the MotoGP really quite boring. And at the same time, we were having a, a really good rider over in the UK, um, Carl Fogarty in the World Superbikes. So I started watching the World Superbikes and um, yeah, that was really exciting. And Fogarty was a fantastic rider. But I still would occasionally watch the MotoGP. But um, yeah, I soon became aware of a young rider, Valentino Rossi, when he's on the 125s. And he was bringing um, fun back into the, uh, the MotoGP racing. And so he was doing lots of jokey things. And um, I think when he won at Donington, he dressed up as Robin Hood. Um, when he used to win on the, the MotoGP bikes, he'd have um, on the uh, the, the slow down lap, he would have something like a, um, a policeman with a speed camera stopping him on his bike and giving him a ticket. So yeah, it was, so I soon started watching the MotoGP again and because uh, he made it much more enjoyable again. I thought about doing a painting of him last year when um, I think Morbidelli and Zarco had a crash and the bikes nearly took out Valentino and Maverick just missing them um, and it was so close and if anything would have happened to um, Valentino then I think I would have stopped watching the MotoGP but anyway um, yeah thank god that the, the, uh, the motorbikes missed those two riders and uh, they were okay so yeah so going back then I, I thought about doing, doing a painting of Valentino yeah so MotoGP uh, Valentino's won seven world titles and um, he's won on Honda and Yamaha. When I was looking for a, a photo of Valentino that I could copy off, I was obviously looking for one with him in Yamaha colours. But I still went to that artistic mode and I was just looking for a good photo of him that I, I liked. But um, so I just started painting that and then obviously not realising that was on the Ducati because he didn't have the um, happiest time on the Ducati and he raced the Ducati from 2011 to 2012. And one of the reasons I decided to paint him as well was when I was thinking about something to paint, I had a dream that um, myself and my wife were in Italy and we were walking all, along the street and um, Valentino was on the other side with a group of people. And um, there was a portrait painting competition coming up and I said to Brenda, oh, it'd be great to paint um, Rossi's painting. Uh, for the competition so I said I'm gonna go and ask him so so Valentino and a group of people had gone into a building so there was a minder outside so we went across the road and uh, asked if we could meet Valentino and he the miner went inside and spoke to um, spoke spoke to Valentino and he said yeah it was okay so so we went in and Valentino was sitting on a chair and um, I said about the painting competition and could have uh, painted his portrait and he looked at me wondering who I was. And then he looked up um, and then he paused for a moment and looked up at the ceiling and then he looked back at me and said, okay, I'm having a party tonight. So you and Brenda come round and we can talk about it. So then we ended up going to his party, but um, I woke up then, but um, I thought, yep, I'm gonna, gonna definitely paint Valentino because he's retiring and I had that dream. And of course, wanted to paint him last year, really. So anyway, um, uh, yes, I've done this painting. I've painted it on a gesso board, 
uh, ampersand gesso board and the colours I'm using are titanium white, yellow ochre, light red, cadmium red light, alizarin crimson, ivory black. Uh, there's a bit of blue at the top, I think that's um, phthalo blue, which I used to, you can just see the um, little bit of Valentino's top. Uh, he's wearing a blue top and um, obviously he's got a red jacket on for Ducati. And, um, I've got, I bring in some yellow paints to paint his hat. Uh, I think yellow and green. But um, anyway, this is, this is the unpainting stage, which I've done obviously in the patchy colored paint. So um, in, in part two, I'll paint over this and um, do the, the finished painting. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two.